Greetings, I am Rob Chapman and welcome to my demonstration of the Presonus Audiobox i2 Studio. Pause for coffee. Let me just explain briefly what this is all about because some of you will never have recorded before, some of you will just own a guitar or maybe do a bit of singing or play piano, but never have actually committed some music to a track and then put it somewhere and sold it. And now you can do that for a ridiculous price of bing. Um, this kit, here's the box, here you go Bcam, here's the box. Uh, this box contains absolutely everything you need to lay down tracks, turn it into a song, um, export the file and then sell the file. And I'll explain how you do all of that once I've told you what's in this beautiful cardboard heaven. This would be great to get for Christmas. To start with you get a Presonus M7 condenser microphone, here you go Bcam. The M7 is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. If you're not familiar with condenser microphones, they're the one that you normally pair up with a normal dynamic microphone to get a great sounding uh, tone. They capture more detail than standard dynamic microphones and they're great for recording everything from sort of vocals, acoustic guitar, electric guitar. It's an all round workhorse machine. You've got to have a condenser microphone. I have four, uh, I now have five. Um, and this one is, is pretty damn good. So that's item number one. By the way, I've got it on a stand, but the stand didn't come in the box, surprisingly enough. The M7 comes in a handy little carrying case, and of course the standard, uh, fairly affordable, for some reason blue, um, microphone cable. You get the HD7 professional monitoring headphones. They come in a bag, believe it or not, powered by neodymiums. Actually, the box has some interesting bump on the HD7 professional monitoring headphones. High resolution neodymium drivers, precision tuned acoustic chamber, extended bass response, built tough to withstand abuse. The Mic Pre has outputs for powered monitors as well, but in case you don't have them, if you're just a kid in the bedroom, great headphones, gonna need these. Next up is the Mic Pre itself, the Audiobox i2. This is a compact Mic Pre. This is the thing you plug your microphones or your instrument cables into and then you connect it to your laptop or to your iPad and you record goodness and get it out to the people, which is of course what we do in this industry when we own lots of guitars, that's what we're supposed to do. I'll talk you through the basics, it's 48 volts phantom powered if you want it for the uh, condenser mic. Each of these inputs is either for your XLR cable or for an instrument jack, they'll take anything in them. There's a mix and there's also a level for the headphones. On the back, you've got a MIDI in, you've got a MIDI out, you've got power for the, the Mac or your PC, or a connection to uh, a USB connection for an iPad, for example. It's compact, it's great, it does what you need in a little Presonus Mic Pre. This could be the gateway key to your unlocking the future of recorded music at an affordable price. So I'm gonna be demonstrating this and the gear you get with it, but it's worth saying this comes with software and not just here's some free software because it's a nice little pull to get you to buy the hardware, it's really good software. Um, specifically two things that I think are really great for a beginner. Now, as you probably know, I've been using GarageBand for the majority of the stuff that I do because it's really simple, it's quick, it's effective, I know how to think and I can just do the job. But if you wanted a lot more depth in what you do, if you wanted to go in and do a lot more editing, uh, multi-track recording and do something that was really great, you might consider using Studio One. Now this is version three. And Studio One uh, is a completely comprehensive DAO um, that allows you to do multi-track recordings. It looks a bit like Logic, to be really honest with you. It's massively in depth. Um, it actually took me sort of an hour of looking at a couple of videos to really get to grips with the way it works. I'm not gonna say it's difficult to use, it's certainly user friendly, but there's an awful lot more contained in this than there is in your average ready go, grab and go kind of audio recording DAOs. And then finally, there's something called Nimbit. Now Nimbit is some software that Presonus recently acquired and it's basically, um, how would you describe it best? I'd say it's a social media platform for releasing and selling your music. So the way you would normally go through uh, something like CD Baby and then you would market it through iTunes and there'd be a fee and everything, Nimbit is, is kind of like that but free. 
So it's a simple way, you buy a box like this, uh, it's got the microphone, the headphones, the mic pre, you record a tune, you register your free account with Nimbit, you export your song, and you've sold music. Now, it really can be that simple, I suppose, provided you've written a great song. So let's see how these sound. Um, to begin with, I'm gonna hook this up and I'm gonna record some acoustic guitar for you. I have just slightly rearranged the cameras, specifically so that you can see the microphone angle. If you're not familiar with recording and you've not done a large diaphragm condenser with acoustic guitar before, there are a couple of different ways you can do it and I'm going to do it for you a number of different ways so that you get an idea of how the microphone sounds uh, but also just how to do it. So what I do normally is in between the sound hole and the 12th fret is kind of a sweet spot in the centre which gives you tone of the neck, tone of the sound hole, it doesn't give you too much finger noise um, which if you, if you record here I notice you get quite a lot of squeaks and finger noise and stuff. By the way this is the Faith Saturn cutaway in natural, and this is how it sounds. you can see uh, because of the camera angle it might not look like it's lined up but it's perfectly lined up with the center of the sound hole and this is how it sounds in this position So now the final mic position we're going to try is between 12th fret and the centre of the hole. Uh, again, about eight inches away, but I've turned the microphone so it's facing the sound hole. Here's how that sounds. <laughs> for some electric guitar. And what better time than to try out my brand new Gibson SG that I purchased from Anderson's only, only a few weeks ago. Um, obviously I've already sessioned this guitar. This is the 2016 model. Anyway, enough about the guitar. Let's see how it sounds through the personas. So let me show you what I've done. I mean, just in case you're not really familiar with these kinds of things. Here it is. Uh, I've set it just slightly off access. 
Um, which means if you imagine my finger is the little tiny bit in the middle of the speaker just to the side, directly into the audio box I2, going into my Studio One version 3 software. guitar tracks sound great for you, uh, the Presonus Audiobox i2 Studio with Studio One and it's version 3, uh, I think it's great value for money, I think if you've never recorded before and you're a beginner and you're on a budget, I think this one little box for 139 quid or thereabouts could totally sort you out. You guys take it easy, I've been Rob Chapman, please subscribe, uh, like, share, comment etc for more fine videos like this one. And I shall see you soon, chappers, very much and considerably out.